Oh, hi. So here's a little uh, Curve Basher quick tip, specifically regarding the wire generator. So as you might know, it uses primitives to generate cables that intersect those volumes. But we can use objects that don't have volumes. For instance, I don't think any of these primitives has uh, dimensions. So if you go to item, no dimensions, pretty sure even using the cube thingy, yeah, no dimensions. But I'm just gonna go back to using this one just so it's obvious that we're using something that doesn't have any volume. So this is gonna be our uh, spawner number one. And then I'm gonna add a cube as I would normally. And then shift D and duplicate this. So we're gonna go from zero to this volume to that. And if we select that curve wire generator, we get this kind of result. And let's increase the wire count and we can switch to parallel. And I don't know, I just thought it was like a, a cool look. And uh, let's actually try to do this with the array. Eh, it works pretty well, I think. And uh, let's change this to be one and do something like that. We can get this kind of result instead. So not super useful, but I think it looks kind of cool. And of course, we can uh, scale this after the fact. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, we can also just use the, the Curve Bash browser. So select all of our curves, press J, and let's see if we can find something cooler. Ooh. Uh, mm, hmm. <laughs> the fence. This one's not too bad. Oh, I really like this one. This is one, one of my favorites because it's super thin. Uh, let's go smooth shading and T and twist it. Okay, that doesn't look as good as I was hoping. Anyhow, what do we learn? You can combine empties with primitives when using the wire generator. Okay, bye.